Among nearly 300 million sperm cells, only one succeeds in completing the 18 centimeter journey to meet the ovum, the human egg, the largest cell in the body, about 0.12 millimeters wide, waits patiently for that precise moment of destiny. When the sperm penetrates its membrane, the genetic codes of father and mother merge. 46 chromosomes containing the entire blueprint of life. From this union, the zygote carries more than 3 billion DNA base pairs, each faithfully copied with an error rate of less than one in a billion. Inside the nucleus, DNA begins replicating at a speed of 1,000 nucleotides per second, a miracle of molecular precision. Within 24 hours, the zygote divides into two daughter cells. The first duplication of life. Two points of light begin their parallel journey, marking the biological possibility of twins. Every 12 hours, the cell count doubles 2, 4, 8, 16 the Morula stage. By day three, the eight-cell embryo drifts down the fallopian tube, guided by more than 20,000 microscopic cilia. When it reaches the uterus, the endometrium, now eight to 12 millimeters thick, is ready to receive it. The embryo attaches and implantation begins. Tiny blood vessels grow. The first traces of the placenta appear, forming a five zero centimeter long capillary network that will exchange oxygen and nutrients. By day 21, a faint pulsing begins. The embryonic heart beats at about 110 times per minute, nearly twice that of an adult. Within the cell nucleus, DNA continues replicating, determining every detail of the new being eye color, blood type, even the potential for twin formation. In about 1% of pregnancies, the developing embryo naturally splits in two, creating identical twins that share 100% of their genetic material. Two embryos grow side by side, nourished by the same maternal bloodstream. Genetic analysis shows a difference of only 0.3% less than that between two cells in the same body. 23 pairs of chromosomes align perfectly. One genome, two lives. When two separate eggs are fertilized by two different sperm, however, fraternal twins form. They share only 50% of their DNA, like ordinary siblings, and may differ in sex, blood group, and physical traits. Each zygote develops its own placenta and amniotic sac. About 70% of twin pregnancies are of this type. Two tiny hearts now beat inside one womb, the beginning of a miraculous dual symphony of life. As weeks pass, two amniotic sacs expand, each containing 500, 800 milliliters of protective fluid. The umbilical cords grow to 50 centimeters, carrying oxygen and nutrients from the mother. Their hearts beat around 150, 160 times per minute, a duet of rhythm and light. The fetal brain develops at astonishing speed, producing 250,000 neurons every minute. By week eight, their hands and feet move. The twins touch, for the first time, an early reflex of human connection. At week 10, each fetus measures about three centimeters and weighs nearly four grams, already with a unique fingerprint. The placenta now functions like a biological power station, exchanging 50 milliliters of oxygenated blood per minute for each twin. The mother's heartbeat harmonizes with theirs, forming a perfect biological resonance. Her uterus expands to twice its normal size, gaining more than 1.5 kilograms in weight. Hormones such as oxytocin and serotonin circulate through the shared bloodstream stabilizing emotion and aiding neural growth. Yet this fragile harmony can be disrupted. Chronic stress elevates cortisol, reducing placental blood flow by up to 25%. Nicotine constricts placental arteries, cutting oxygen by nearly 30%. Excess sugar and caffeine trigger insulin spikes and metabolic stress. Under pressure, the uterus contracts slightly, limiting oxygen. 
both fetuses slow their movements, their heart rates falling. Studies from the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists show prolonged stress can increase the risk of preterm birth by 37%. When maternal cortisol exceeds 700 nmol L, the fetal nervous system can be affected long term. Without rest, the mother's cardiovascular system becomes overloaded, especially after week 30. But the body's ability to recover is extraordinary. With simple changes, balance returns. Deep, slow breathing, six times per minute, increases oxygen levels by 15% and lowers cortisol naturally. Within days, blood flow to the placenta improves, nourishing both lives again. Proper nutrition becomes vital. 2,700, 3,000 kilocalories, about 600 more than a single pregnancy. Eight hours of sleep boosts growth hormone by 20%, supporting tissue and brain development. Regular checkups every two weeks track both heartbeats and blood circulation. Light exercise, such as a 30-minute walk, reduces the risk of preeclampsia by 40%. Talking to the babies stimulates alpha brain waves, making them feel secure. Research shows fetal heart rate rises when they hear their mother's voice a sign of early sound recognition. A healthy placenta supplies about 60 milligrams of calcium and 200 milligrams of iron daily to each twin, adding protein, omega-3, and folate, vitamin B9, can reduce preterm risk by 35% WHO 2021. Prenatal yoga activates the parasympathetic system, easing anxiety. Optimal development occurs when the mother's temperature stays around 36, seven degrees Celsius, and her heart rate, 70, 80 BPM. <laughs> Emotional connection within the family boosts oxytocin, the love hormone that protects against stress. A balanced diet rich in fiber and low in sugar helps prevent gestational diabetes. Sleeping in darkness increases melatonin, regulating circadian rhythms for both mother and child. Inside the womb, the twins turn gently, exercising their growing nervous systems. Each day, mother and babies perform an unending biological miracle. Her body now carries nearly four liters of circulating blood. Two tiny beings exchange glances through the thin veil of amniotic fluid, their first silent conversation. Three hearts beat to one rhythm, a symbol of perfect biological unity. Fragments of fetal DNA flow through the mother's bloodstream. Up to 10% of her serum DNA originates from her babies. Two tiny hands reach and touch, transmitting neural signals through 15,000 sensory fibers, the first physical bond. The maternal heart enlarges its output by 30, 40% to sustain them a physiological triumph. Her smile triggers fetal endorphins, the hormones of happiness. Two small hearts glow together, two lives, one love. Light converges into a symbol of creation, marking the completion of the twin journey. The miracle of life, documented in over 200 medical studies, stands as proof of nature's genetic wonder. The journey of twin creation ends here. Yet the journey of love has only just begun.